Hello everyone, welcome back to Van Amsen Coding Channel. Today we are going to tackle an exciting problem, uh, 2 one for one maximum running time of an computer. It's a hard level problem and test your ability to efficiently use data structure like uh, heaps and apply binary search in a creative way. So let's dive in. The problem gives us n computers and a list of batteries where each battery can run a computer for a specific number of minutes. We need to figure out the maximum number of minutes we can run all n computers simultaneously and we can move batteries between computers at any time, but the batteries cannot be recharged. So uh, we could start with a straightforward approach where we use each battery to its full capacity before moving on to the next. However, this approach isn't efficient and doesn't uh, always yield the maximum running time. So instead, we need to ensure that at each moment, the computers are running with the batteries that have the maximum remaining time. So the key to solving this problem is to find a balance between using batteries that have the most power and ensuring that no energy is wasted. So this calls for a more advanced strategy. Well, uh, we will define a function max runtime, uh, which takes the number of computers n and a list of batteries as input, and we will implement it. So the function begins by uh, setting up the boundaries for a binary search. So the left boundary will be one and right boundary will be total power of all batteries divided by n. So let's implement it. Left, right, some batteries divided by n. And uh, in the binary search, we set a target running time and check if we can reach this target with the available uh, batteries. And if we can, uh, we update the left boundaries to the target. And if we can't, we update the right boundary to one less than the target. And we continue this process uh, until the left and right boundaries meet at which point we have found the maximum possible running time. So while left less than right, target right minus right left divided by two without remainder. And if some minimum battery target or battery in batteries greater than target times end left target else right target minus one and we return uh, left. So uh, this is our implementation using binary search. So let's run it. So all works uh, perfect. So as you can see, our function returned the correct uh, result. Uh, for these test cases, showing that it's working as expected. Uh, and that's it for this video. Uh, let's run for uh, unseen test cases as well to verify everything's work. So yeah, our implementation work. It beats 40% uh, with respect to runtime and 49 with respect to memory. So all good. Uh, and I hope you found this problem interesting and learned something new. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, for more coding tutorials and problem solving. So happy coding, stay motivated. See you next time.